Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alan from Lanza Studios coming to you with a little demonstration. Um, Adobe just just uh, did some upgrades, just pushed out some upgrades on their cloud applications. And um, one of the more popular upgrade was, was this color matching feature. And I figure I'd just go through and we'll take a look at it together. So what I did was I, I did some some exaggerated color grading in DaVinci and then I exported those those graded footage and I also exported the uh, footage without any type of grading. So we're going to look at both and see how close this color matching feature will come to getting your clip matched to whatever you're trying to match it match it to. OK. All right. So let's take a look. All right, let's drag this here down to the timeline, create a new timeline. And this is the graded one and let's go ahead and find the one that's not graded and there it is and let's just drag it side by side and then you have to go up to your color your color window and it's right there so you can get to this thing two ways they added a new little icon here comparison view it's also here so if you click this you get that comparison view and also if you click this icon here it'll also bring up that comparison view okay so and now it in addition to that it has some features here you can get some different then some different views you can get this vertical uh, split screen kind of wipe so you can go back and forth here DaVinci has the same feature here and it also have this horizontal um, screen wipe thing going on here all right so uh, let's see how good this thing is. All right, so basically what it does, let's go back to the original view. What it does is it gets a still. So this thing, you'll notice that the screen on the left doesn't move. It's, it's a still. And this is actually a live view right here. So um, you click, make sure this is selected, and then just click apply, apply match. So now looking at this, what it just did, this doesn't look that good to me. Um... I noticed it's a group shot and I just noticed that face detection was on. So let's try that again. So I'm going to undo what it just did. And then I'm going to deselect face detection and see how well it does. Hmm. That's better, right? It's not as contrasty as, uh, contrasty as this one, but it's much closer than the, the, the uh, purple look that we were getting with face detection on. Okay, I'm not sure what that's all about, but hey, um, let's try... A clip with just one person in the in the um, in the scene. So I'm gonna delete all of this. I'm just gonna get rid of that. And let's try this guy. Okay, let's get the graded one down there first. And then let's get the ungraded. All right. So let's let's give this a shot. All right, so we have a, the comparison views already selected. Remember, this is the icon here, and also you can just click the comparison view here, and then let's just go ahead and apply. Let's first try it without face detection, like we did last time. That's pretty good. That's pretty close. Like I said, the, the same as last time, though. <laughs> There's no real contrast to it, but I like it. I like how close it gets to it. All right, let's undo that, and let's try it with the face detection. I don't know if I see a difference, not with just the one f one face in the scene. So I guess you guys can, I might do a side by side comparison. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to, all right, let me undo this and I'm going to, I'm going to do a face. I'm going to do a apply match without the face detection and I'm going to. I'm just going to take a picture of this real quick. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to undo that, do a apply match with the face detection. Then I'm going to take a picture of this real quick as well. All right. So now I'm going to import those pictures that we just took. All right. So the first one was without 
face detection. So let's see what it looks like. Huh. Hmm. Not much of a difference, right? As a matter of fact, I don't see a difference at all. Let's make sure we got the right one. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, I don't really see any difference. Um. Uh, of course, the the fact that I just took a still from it. Oh, I forgot. I could have taken a still from from here. You can also get a still export uh, frame from there, from straight from Premiere Pro. I didn't have to do the the Mac way of doing it. Anyways, it looks the same, right? Right. Okay. And then as I showed you, you had the, these these uh, couple of different views here, and it also has this this uh, swap sides thing here. So you can you can put the gradient on the left and ungraded on the right, and vice versa. So. It's not bad. I like it um, from just uh, it's a small sample size that we just did, but looks good. All right, guys. I guess you can determine whether or not it's worth upgrading. And there's a couple more features. First, I have to go <laughs> check them out myself before I show them to you. So make sure I, I semi know what I'm talking about. So that's it, for guys, for this this um, demonstration. I'm um, hopeful you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and drop me a like and a subscribe. Help me build this channel up. All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.